I've been a neonatologist for more than 15 years and during that time I've seen the problems premature babies face in the nursery and going forward into the future. Most of these problems relate to their lung and brain complications. Many of these babies go on to have oxygen at home and some of these babies actually go on to develop things like cerebral palsy, autism and other learning problems. Her lungs were so tiny, they were severely underdeveloped. Families are coming to us asking and imploring us to look at better solutions to these problems. Those problems have compelled me to look at finding better solutions and better therapies to help these babies and families. So I think there is a need for us to develop more cutting edge technologies and therapies to be able to offer these families and babies better hope for the future. I work it with a big science group where we have students and researchers working together to find new solutions and new therapies for problems which we face. The trials I've been involved in have included placental stem cell trials and umbilical cord blood stem cell trials. Both these trials have looked at giving these stem cells to babies who are at risk of developing long-term complications of the brain or lung and then following them up and seeing if these cells actually make a difference. One of the key areas we've been focusing on is being using umbilical cord blood derived stem cells. The umbilical cord is the lifeline for the baby when they are in the womb and when they are born that umbilical cord is cut and disposed of along with the placenta. We've been able to harness those stem cells present in the umbilical cord, wash them, process them and give it back to the babies is the key focus of our research. Once I consented to this stem cell trial, it was all go from there. They were able to get my baby cells to the laboratory, clean them up, bring them back and give them to her. We are still at an early stage, but we are confident that with these stem cell therapies, we should be able to improve outcomes going into the future. I'm very privileged to work in an environment where I have access to world-class scientists and lab facilities to be able to provide innovative solutions to problems which we do not have solutions to at the moment. A neonatal stem cell trial center at Monash Children's Hospital will be able to provide that world-class innovative cutting-edge technology to be able to give these families and babies a opportunity to have a better life going forward. I think these cells contributed to her breathing room air and I don't think we'd be anywhere near going home if she hadn't had these cells and home is the end goal.